I'm back in Las Vegas at New York, New York Arcade. As you guys can see, this is a huge arcade with a ton of arcade games. So today we're gonna go around, play a bunch of games, and see what we can win. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna try some quick drop. How can I not when the jackpot's almost at a thousand? I need to at least try. <laughs> We got it guys! There we go, we got all 50 balls, which is a thousand tickets basically. 960, we got the jackpot. As I always say, four balls in each of these at a time. Sometimes you have to do five and twice, but that's how you win quick drop guys. Easy thousand tickets pretty much right there. All right guys, now we're gonna try a claw machine. This one is filled with little zoo animals. There's a dog though actually in the mix and an elephant and some other things that might be open. So I'm gonna see if we can win anything. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can win anything out of here. I think I'm gonna try for the schnauzer on the side here. It's like be risky and kind of go for him. Let me check my angles. Let's see. Angles, angles, angles. Maybe a little more back for the schnauzer. That looks good. Oh, it dropped really crazy. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, I missed it. All right, now we're gonna play another claw machine. The claw machines here are really stingy, but there is a Pokemon one. Maybe we can get a Pokemon. All right, here we go. Let's try to get a Pokemon. I'm gonna try for um, the monkey one. I don't know what his name is, so don't get mad at me, guys. I forgot. I remember it from like a long time ago, but I just can't think of it right now. All right, let's go for him right here. Hopefully get around his head and pick him up. All right, let's see if we can get him. Come on, Pokemon. Well, that's perfect. Actually, grab him. <gasps> grab him. Oh, no, that was too weak, though. That was such a good aim. All right, I think I might try this UFO catcher. It's almost, like, cleared out. There's, like, barely anything in here. But let's see if we can win something. All right, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to go for the pink dog in the very back. Literally just go right on top of him. That looks decent where I have it, so let's just try for this one. All right, pink dog in the back. That looks perfect, honestly. Right between his legs is where I wanted it. Come on, grab him. Stay, hold it. Come on, that looks good. That looks really good. Oh, oh no. All right, we're gonna try again, guys. I don't know if I should go for the purple instead or what. Maybe the purple would be a little easier because he's on a different angle. I hope it's gonna open up wide enough for it, though. So I'm gonna go for the pink one instead. Here we go for the pink again. Come on, pink dog. Pink dog. Oh, that looks really good, still. Get under his mouth, though. That's what I needed to do instead of rolling it out. Oh, but he's still gettable. Come on, pink dog. It's in a hard position, but I feel like maybe that will do it. Pick it up, please. Oh, no. We're going to quit on it. All right, now we're going to try a game called Movie Stop. And basically, what you got to do is there's going to be this light that comes around. And it, as it goes right by this arrow, you have to push it and hope to have it hit the winner and stop on the winner. If you get there, you can get a bunch of tickets or you can get a um, certain prize. I don't know. We're going to try to get one. I'm just going to basically choose one from the bottom to try to win. And let's see if we can get it. All right, guys, I'm basically just going to wait for one of these arrows to come around and just hit it. I don't even care which one it's going to be. All right. Okay. Come on. Come on. Get to the winner. Oh, there was one off. Oh my gosh. That was so close. All right. We're going to try this again, guys. I'm going to try to hit it dread on. All right. That looks really good. Come on. Come on. We need a winner. We need a winner. Oh my God. One behind. We're going to do it one more time, guys. That was seriously so close. Oh, that looks so good. Come on. Give me a winner, please. Oh my god, okay, well I didn't want the ski ball minion anyways, but still it was one off again All right, we're gonna try some bloom buster and I'm gonna try to get the squirtle with the 400 arcade credits on it So let's see if we can get it guys. We're gonna line it up here It's going up. We're gonna move it over to the very center. Looks good about here Very OCD about it. That looks pretty centered. Now we're gonna go up all the way to this top blue Let's see if we can line it up here All right, we're going up Head it up here. I'm gonna line it up directly where I want it. Oh, that looks so close. Oh my god. Oh! Wow, that was so close, guys. Like, literally this much off. All right, back to another one of my favorite Space Invaders. It says there's a warning on here for epilepsy. This game is pretty intense. Basically, I'm gonna show you guys the tips on how to win this. I always play it and I always win it, but today I'm gonna tell you guys again how you're going to win it. 
Alright guys, so at the beginning of the game, the first thing you're going to do is shoot the spaceship at the bottom of the screen, and then continue to shoot the rest. After that, you're going to continue shooting all the things that you can, but as soon as a bomb pops up, you don't want to hit it. Save your bomb until you get low towards the bottom of the screen, because you're protecting the cannons at the bottom. You can also use the other thing to shoot extra missiles, um, and also try to protect your bombs at the same time. You don't want to lose them, but um, continue going for all the red ones, because those ones move the fastest. Save your bomb until you need it. See how I use it there to protect the bottom of the screen and I continued on shooting all of them. Usually the score is pretty easy to beat so you're going to continue doing that until the game is over and that's how you get the high score and win 500 tickets. But we just got the high score of 28,000 and we got 500 tickets so hopefully that will help you guys to win Space Invaders next time that you guys come to the arcade my little explanation on how to win it. Alright guys, we're going to try some stacker. They have some little dolphin necklaces and if you get a major prize they have 300 arcade credits and two toaster tickets and an ugly minion which I don't want. Alright, here we go guys. I got my new necklace on guys. Look at me making statements. I have like another necklace on under this but girl, look at my necklace. Yeah. Alright guys, we're going to try some goal line rush. Let's see if we can get the golden football. All right, we have two tries to get this gold football. Oh my god, first try? No way, on our first try, we got the golden football. What, jackpot, yeah, oh my god. That's 200 tickets plus another 10, because we have two fives. Gold, we got the gold football on our actual first try. That was awesome, guys. Golden rush jackpot, whoop, whoop. All right, guys, with my last play, I'm gonna see if we can end on one more golden football jackpot on goal line rush. This game is amazing. All right, guys, here goes our last play for our $20 at New York, New York. I only spent 20 today. We're gonna see how many tickets and what we can get the prize booth, but here's our last play on goal line rush. Oh, I think that's a little bit late. Oh my God, it wasn't, I did it again! <laughs> Twice in a row and on our last play. Mom, did you see that? Yeah, she saw it, that was crazy. We got it again. Two times we got that gold football. We are awesome at goal line rush, guys. That's pretty crazy. Got another 200 tickets going on my card, guys. All right, guys, with $20, we ended the day with 2,260 tickets. All right, guys, we picked out a prize with our tickets, and I'm going to show you guys back at home what we got. All right, guys, so now that we are back from the arcade, I'm going to be showing you guys the prizes that I got today with our tickets. So the first prize we got today is this big, huge glitter lava lamp. I got it in the color pink. It's super, super awesome. I'm probably going to be putting this for sale up on my eBay soon. It is pretty big, though, so the shipping might be a bit, but it is super, super cool. And the final and last prize today that we got with our tickets is this really super cute disco ball, guys. It is adorable, and I really, really like this, so I think I'm going to keep this so I can have my own disco parties, you know, because we got to get groovy. Oh, yeah. Get groovy. Oh, yeah. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment down below, and be sure to hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.